All right, guys. Here's what I'm, I'm here today. I'm going to show you my new my cart that I built for myself. It's for roughing. It's for finish work. Whatever you want to use it for. It has non-marring wheels, so it's not going to scuff up the floors. And you're usually not going to do finish work before the last coat on the hardwood floor anyway. So. I like to rough and get all that stuff done before the carpet goes in, before the hardwood's finished. So what I have is a seat I can roll around on while I'm doing plugs, switches, plates, all that kind of stuff. So four casters rolled in place where your plug is. You can enter your wires and new work. You can once everything's sheetrocked and painted. You can put your plugs on, put your plates on, carry it all with you. What I have here right now, I have two pouches, one with wire nuts, one with staples. Because I use pretty much basically the, the tan, tan red wire nuts, I keep those in here and my staples I have in here. I have pockets on the side here that right now because I'm roughing, I have tails. For my, for my splices, and on this side I have screws. Screws, I can put my hammer there if I choose, I can put my little drill there if I choose, you know, whatever, whatever I need to do there. Right here I have a metal strap going across, so these have clips on them, so I just clip them. So now when I want to change to do finish work, I can clip my little Milwaukee drill on there that I use. I can clip anything else that I want pouch wise on here. If I have a bunch of screws in a pouch or whatever. In the sides, I will put the devices and I will put the plates. So now I have 20 or 30 plugs and I have, you know, 30, 40 plates. No problem. I can put the device on, I can put the plate on. I roll on to the next outlet. Um, I mean, you can even do switches off here if you wanted to. You know, I set them at 46, so they're so they're not a high. It's not really high. So if I wanted to, I can have plates. I because I use mainly decor. Very rarely do I use conventional, regular, traditional plugs and switches. The plates are all the same. If I was rolling around with a box of plugs on here, I can do those too. No big deal. So I'll give you a little more close-up look into what the cart looks like. I have a handle, it's got four casters, street quarter plywood, glued, screwed, um, so it's not going to break. I've tried using mechanics chairs before and things, and the wheels, when you hit like a nail or you hit a cord, they fold over, they suck, they don't roll smooth. So I got two and a half or three inch casters from uh, probably two or two and a half inch cap, I think they're two and a half or three inch casters from Home Depot. Locking, you don't need locking cap. These aren't locking, you don't need locking casters because you're really not locking it for anything. Unless you want them to lock when you put it in your truck, you don't want it to roll around, but you can put it on the end for that. Um, you know, it probably took me a couple hours in my shop between designing it, putting it all together, getting it rolling. So here I'll give, you, I'll give you a closer look at what we're dealing with, what we're working. So there's the handle cut into the seat. I mean, if you wanted to put padding on it, you could. It's fine. Here's the pocket where I have my tails, neutrals and hot tails for, for tailing off plugs and switch boxes and things. Here's our staples and wire nuts. You can see the bar, just a piece of flat stock metal, a couple nuts behind it, screwed in. So I can make it bigger, smaller, I can change it if I want, if it gets damaged. Here's the other side pocket, I just got an extra pouch in there, and then I have screws. Um, regular sheetrock screws for mounting boxes right now. And you can see, probably are two inch casters. There's the casters under there. Um, and I do, I, it's, it's easy enough to roll around and work with. And like I said, it probably took me a couple hours, some scrap material I had in the shop. Um, 
And that's that. So I know some guys go, like, oh, my boss will yell at me if I did. But you know what? Look, I'm 45 years old. I've been doing this for almost 30 years now. I'm not kneeling on the floor if I don't have to. I'm not getting up and down. I'm not, I'm, I'm a creaky old guy right now. So this, I can roll around, it's comfortable. I can work right off of it. I have my tool pouch on, I have all my tools with me. I have material with me. I have the plugs and switches, the plates and plugs with me when I need them. So I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. If somebody came in and had a mechanics chair and they can roll around on a mechanics chair and knock out plugs and plates and switches and all that stuff, I'm fine with it. No big deal.